In this video, I'm going to show you how to do Judy's Magic Cast On for Toe Up Socks. This cast on blends in absolutely the best with any stockinette sock. It takes a little bit of time to master the technique, but if you've done things like the long tail cast on, it should be really easy for you to get started. So let's cast on. This cast on begins with a slip knot. You'll want to leave a tail long enough to cast on half of your stitches because you'll be using both the tail and the working yarn to cast on stitches. Place your slip knot on the needle that will be on top. So if you're using DPNs, place one DPN over the other. If you're doing magic loop, have both points facing out. Take the tail of the yarn and wrap it over your index finger of your right hand. The working yarn will go around the thumb of your right hand. With your index finger, wrap the tail of the yarn underneath the bottom needle, over the top, and between the two needles. Use your thumb to bring the yarn underneath the tail and underneath both needles down through the middle. Then you position your hands back where they started and begin again. Using your index finger, to wrap the yarn around the bottom, your thumb to wrap the yarn around the top. If you're used to doing a long tail cast on, this should be a breeze. And you simply repeat those steps until you've cast on the number of stitches required in the pattern. In this case, I'm going to cast on 10 stitches onto each needle. Now, once you've cast on all of your stitches, if you have an even number on both top and bottom, or I should say the same number of stitches on both top and bottom, the yarn around your thumb, which is the working yarn, is ready to be used for knitting. And it'll come around the bottom, grabbing the tail of the yarn, ready to knit across the top. If you're using Magic Loop, pull the bottom needle out and position it ready to begin the next round. Using DPNs, you'll want to grab a second DPN and simply begin knitting. If you're using DPNs, the next half of the first round, you'll want to use two different DPNs because that's, that'll most likely be your heel side. And when you flip to do the second half of the first round, you're going to want to knit into the back of each stitch. The reason being is because the way they're cast on, it actually mounts them backwards. As you can see, the stitches are on there a little bit backwards. So you knit into the back of each stitch, and what you end up with is a toe made of perfectly formed stockinette stitch. 